Here they come from the 2200, just cruised in as one of the trailers early on. Holy Land, driven force with a good possession. Jack of Arts is in the blue. White Lightning's on the right. Zanzibari in between runners, then don't look back. Impact Zone's further back in the run. Crime Victim's a little bit strong at the rail. Holy Land between runners, then comes Bally Main. The two at the back are Warfarer and just cruised in. About 10, 11 lengths from top to tail as they go down towards that 1400 meter region. Jack of Arts has the call, the grey white lightning, driven forces at the rail. Don't look back in the black colours, cheek pieces are on the outside, but Jack of Arts is there by three lanes. Crime victims on the inside, Zanzibari on the outside, then comes Holy Land, the pink cap. Bally main has got the yellow headgear, then Impact Zone Warfare, and just cruised ends in the back seat about 10, 11 lanes from top to tail. Jack of Arts continues to lead it. White Lightning is second, at the rail, driven fours. Don't Look Back is on the right-hand side with the cheek pieces. Zanzibarian's got about four or five lengths to make up. Then Holy Land, Ballymain. Further back to Impact Zone, Warfare, and Just Cruised In continues to trail, and it's about eight or nine lengths off the leader. Jack of Arts, White Lightning's at its girth in second, then Don't Look Back, Driven Fours. Zanzibarian only got two lengths to make up, then Crime Victim, Holy Land gets the wake-up call. Impact Zones further back, then comes Bally Main. Turning into the home stretch, Jack of Arts the leader, White Lightning the grey the first to challenge. Zanzibarian's going to come out for a run, down the inside, Crime Victim driven fours. Jack of Arts the leader, White Lightning. Zanzibarian's now trying to make a race of it with the black cap and is moving in. Jack of Arts the leader, Zanzibarian's now trying to throw out the challenge, but Jack of Arts continues to find on the lead. Jack of Arts is holding Zanzibarian at bay, just cruised in comes late. Jack of Arts has won it. Just cruised in, ran on for second. Third, Zanzibarian, then White Lightning. Number six, Jack of Arts, back to back victory. Last time Jabu Jacobs, this time it's Tabesa Gomere, and Jack of Arts wins it by about three quarters of a length. Ends up toad favourite at three rand. Just cruised in runs on nicely from the back of the field for second. Zanzibarian is third, White Lightning is fourth. We continue to run it, further back Holy Land and then Driven Force. And then came Impact Zone, Crime Victim and Bally Main. We'll take a look at that head on shortly. So Jack of Arts practically led from the word go. White Lightning the Grey tried to stick with it. On the right hand side is Zanzibarian. But Jack of Arts now four from 13. And the son of Jackson prevails, bred by Ascot Stud. Until the running of the seventh race, back to the studio. Number six, Jack of Arts has come to, to win uh, race number six, a son of Jackson, and uh, compliments to Guard Puller and his team. Uh, got the horse in superb condition. The way he races, you have to have a fit fellow, and this horse was supremely fit this afternoon. And Guard just mentioning off here, he had him fit well and ready to put in another good performance. But firstly, you know, I must compliment you for giving kids chances throughout your career as a trainer. You've always picked up uh, an apprentice here and there and given most of them chances, Gart, and a lot of good ones have gone through your hands. Yeah, I feel for Jabu. It would have been Jabu's ride, obviously. Um, but uh, I must say, Komedi uh, Tabisa rode a very nice race. He listened to instructions impeccably. Um, you know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm a stern believer. If a horse has got six races in them, they'll win the six. And they're not going to win ten. They're not going to win the July. If they've got five races in, they'll win the five. With a lesser trainer, it might take longer. With a good trainer, it'll happen quicker. But that's the ability. And to give them the chances, as long as you're not losing money punting, the seconds and thirds and the mistakes they make are bonuses, basically. It's nice. This horse has come on nicely. Um, he was only one pound worse off at the weights. He, he actually got the better of Zanzibarian last time at the end going away. Uh, so I thought I'd take my chances over the 2-2. Two -two. I know he will go 2-4 easily. Um, he, he's, he's a four-year-old and he's a big strong horse. 
I must thank Alistair Wharton. Uh, he sent him over a lovely stay and in, in fine, uh, and he's done well here. He's, um, he's got a good action, and he's, his strong point is that he pulls up, for a big horse, he pulls up sound. Mm. And that's a big plus. I mean, a lot of horses go wrong or they've got niggles, and you can't back them up and race them quite soon. I was lucky enough to do it with him. I was thanks to back at the stables to Mike, Sam, and the guys, uh, to Wendy at home. Uh, to my team that I got here, Bishop and Eric on course, and yeah, and to um, Fabisa for riding an nice race, and thanks to Hollywood for their support. We need it, and uh, and they're putting a lot into racing, which is very pleasing to see. Well, you're having a wonderful run, guys. Yeah, and then I've got to thank all these guys. Yeah, there's a whole team of them. Yeah, you can just see them. Hey, the whole lot. Adrian who's who's gonna Who's gonna be the spokesman? I don't know. I think I think Adrian will nominate somebody. Adrian. No. Now, well, we'll call all the boys in and we'll have a chat to Adrian. But well done, guys. Yeah, thank you. Well done. Let's get. Uh, Tabiso in first before we get to chat to the boys. My man, congratulations. It's a, it's a ride that, uh, you know, it's simple instructions, but you have to judge the pace and you did it perfectly. Yeah, I'm so I was telling me now I rode a very good race and I'm glad I listened to instruction and there was one for us. Yeah. When you got to the front, uh, you know, what were you thinking? How, how are you going to judge it? Or you just let the horse, you know, be comfortable? I just let the horse use his action because he have a big, very action and he just kept on going. As soon as in the last in the winning post, Warren wanted to catch me and he still wanted to go. He didn't want to pull up. At one stage you were in front and then you gave him a slight breather as well because they came back to you, but at the top of the straight, that's when you press the button again. That was a plan, so Mr. Puller said I must jump him out, sit in front in the 800, give the horse a period, and he ran on very well. How many winners now, young man? This is my fifth one now, sir. Well, it's going well. You, you're not getting many chances, but to have five winners thus far, you'll take that? Yeah, I'm very glad that I have five winners. It's not easy, but I think I'm going to do well. And Tabisa, are you one of the boys that's also writing exams uh, this time of the year? No, not now, sir. No. You've completed that, so it's just riding for you. Yes. And how's it at the academy with all the other boys? Yeah, it's a big competition for the other Oaks. Uh, there's a lot of us there. You have to do your best. And uh, I would like to thank the riding masters giving us the opportunity, the staff, the academy, and the owners, and Mr. Puller as well. Mr. Puller is a big help. Yeah, even at track, he helps us a lot. He's like our fourth riding masters, and I'm very grateful to have him. Well, you are very, very competent with this one, my brother. Well done on this win, Tabiso, and I wish you many, many more. I haven't interviewed you in the past. I think this is my first interview with you, but uh, all the best as an apprentice. Thank you very much, sir. Well done to Tabiso. Let's get Adrian and the boys in. Uh, all the guys here come through, guys. Uh, let's have a chat with all the buyers. All the buyers made it here today. Uh, Adrian, well done. Uh, thanks, Dees. Thanks so much. And, uh, you know, I just want to say well done to Garth and well done to Tabiso for us very good ride clever ride over the gravel 2200 it's a hard 2200 as you know and well done to KSI Anesh Shoti our family is always here with us and uh, we appreciate the support from it's become a public cause everyone you know they get behind Jack of Arts when he runs and we appreciate that I just want to go through his career what's it now 13 runs four wins four seconds two thirds he's been a mini ATM for you guys yeah this is uh, you know, he's a staying type of horse, and he's all heart. He's jack of hearts. Yes. And he knows how to get to the front and stave other horses off. And, uh, you know, we've had so much of fun, and it, it's a dream for each and every one of us to own a horse like this. So from here to our families, to everyone in the stands, this one's for you guys. Okay, and Godpuller has done an outstanding job again, by Yes, he did a good job, good job, uh, Diz. And did Ane say something too? Anesh, last word from you, my man. A good ride by the jockey. Good ride by the jockey. What about Pepe Batal? Bookmakers got hurt? No, not today. La not today. Last uh, two weeks ago, they did. Not today. But how's the pick six going? Oh, going, going. Banker. Banker. Banker and running, Adrian? Yes. Well done, guys. Archie, congratulations to all the guys. And then let's get the groom in, and we're going to get his name uh, from the gentleman from Hollywood. And the gentleman's name is Sandile. Welcome, Sandile. And you are going to be handing over it to the winning groom of Jack of Hearts, Monde Mahosana. Monde, my man. Hey, hey my man. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations, brother. You got a grand. 1,000. You feeling grand? Yes. yes. You feeling grand? Yes. <laughs> Happy, man. Short Sandile, thanks for coming down and helping us. That's the winning groom getting his 1,000 rand from Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. Monde Mohosana. Okay, Jack of Arts has come through to win race number six.